The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. Sports. Oh, I forgot to cue it up, so I got to go. Opening night, Chicago Bulls basketball is here. Last night, the NBA season opened up. Is that what that was supposed to be? Yeah. It's not like a country song. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll write some lyrics to it. Morgan Wallen over here. Yeah, there's no lyrics to that thing. So the Nuggets, the champs, beat the Lakers 119-107, and the Suns beat the Warriors. But tonight, the Bulls, as Case's Thunder at the Madhouse, not, take it. Not fair. Not fair, but hey, that's, that's even branded. Uh, the Bulls have missed the playoffs <clears throat> and finished under 500 for four out of the last five seasons. Not good. Um, the over-under this season is 37 and a half games. Um, 37 and a half wins, yeah. Wins, wins. So, hmm, that's not good. I No, I, you know, I know I've been brandished as this diehard Oklahoma City Thunder fan. My thoughts on tonight's game removed. I still don't have very high hopes for the Bulls this year. Uh, they're going to win more than 37 and a half games. I'm taking the over on that because okay. here's what they do. They have a great run in December and January that gives you hope. Oh, my God. Mids, yeah. you know, but it's getting, meaningless. It's meaningless, but they win enough games to be hopeful, but then they disappoint. Not what? feeling panic at the disco we have. No high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Kind of the antithesis. <laughs> uh, they, they will give you hope, and there'll be some great games. We'll be all excited. Got and, no hope. Uh, na, 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 na. Yeah. I got no hope sounds more like a song we'd play, to be honest. <laughs> we'll put on Nirvana something in the way. Yeah, That's the Bulls theme song this year. Okay, so we'll see what happens. It's still exciting. I love basketball, so it's great that it starts, and let's hope they beat the Thunder tonight. And uh, Case doesn't have to do the uh, Wheel of Misfortune. Or I guess I would because I'd be taking the Bulls. He's taking the Thunder on the Wheel of Misfortune that we're creating. Yes. I, I don't know. I just I said a few weeks ago the Thunder are going to be really good. The Bulls aren't. And now we're in this situation. It's odd because the Bulls won, what, 40 games last year? And they brought back the same team. Yeah. I just think the Eastern Conference got better. I think the Bulls are going to get worse as a result. And Lonzo Ball still isn't playing. I mean, still no. isn't. I mean, he's been two he's still years. Paid though, unbelievable. He had seventy-four million dollar guarantee and two years of chilling. This is Kenzie's dream job. I know. To be a <laughs> professional athlete. I have been gunning for it forever. An injured professional athlete is the ideal. Look at. Look at Derrick Rose. Yeah, you got to be living my life. <laughs> remember though, <laughs> what I want. <laughs> remember, you've got to be in basketball or baseball. If you're in football and hockey, they're not guaranteed contracts as much as baseball and basketball. Listen, I don't care what sport it is, as long as I get that guarantee and I'm injured. Yeah. Would you like still show up for the games? I don't know. I can see how my schedule looks. <laughs> <laughs> She's on a yacht. I can't be swapped. Have you seen baseball season? I don't know. That's a lot. That's of your games. entire summer. You can't I give mean, that up. Jeez, they can't even enjoy it. Kenzie's out in the playpen in her hundred foot yacht. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm hurt. I'm injured. I just can't play. Well, one minute I had my foot up. <laughs> <laughs> People are bringing your drinks. You can't get up and get yeah. a drink because yeah, her ankle hello. hurts. Kenzie would be the queen of Tommy John surgery. Just every year, oh. just, ah, I'm out for another year. It ah. just, you know what? It felt a little better, but now it just hurts. Right here. It's weird. It's worse now. Yeah. I, I need to sit. I can't risk this. I'm getting a shooting, it's shooting from the, the top to the bottom of my body. I don't know. <laughs> the weird thing shooting is, all over the place. they're kind of taking Lonzo Ball's word on this. It's They've already had several doctors take a look at it. He's done several surgeries, and some of, one of them even said, I, I can't figure out what's wrong. I think he's pulling a Kenzie. <laughs> that's a smart man. Oh, well, it's funny you said it because I didn't. I just can't figure out what's wrong. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just sad. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> Same thing. I heard an interview with Alex Caruso last year, and somebody asked him, like, hey, so what's the relationship like with Zoe now? And he's like, I don't know. I'd love for him to play again. Yeah. Like, I don't really know what's going on. I don't see him. He's on his boat in the playpen. I don't know. <laughs> He's just getting haircuts every day. Uh, the NBA home opener get-in prices, like the ticket, the cheapest ticket to get in. The Bulls are almost right there at $39. You can get a Bulls game for th- – now, I don't know. I've even seen 300 level – in the three-figure range a lot of times, so I don't know if this is for the game tonight, Case, this, yes, these numbers. This is for, this is for tonight. Uh, this is middle of 
the league, essentially. You know, the Pacers are $9 to get in. They're the cheapest. <laughs> New, which, uh, beautiful field house, Cambridge field house. I don't know why it's so cheap to get in the there. The White Sox of the NBA, the Pacers. But don't say that. That's, That's not nice. It's fair. And then the New York Knicks at $216 just to get in the building. Which is unreal. It's absurd. Because they're not entertaining at all either. No, I don't want to go watch the Knicks. The Knicks, the Lakers, the Warriors, the Celtics. I mean, those... Those other three make sense. Yeah, $170 for all three of those. That, was, that makes sense. The Blackhawks got blanked last night by the Bruins. The Bruins are now 6-0. and They got uh, what? Blanked. Was it, blanked. Are you beeping? I think your son's right here. <laughs> <laughs> three nothing. <laughs> three nothing. They got uh, really beeps last uh, night. Yeah. I was mad about it, damn it. I was a little mad. Uh, I you said so <laughs> Also, the World Series is now set. The Phillies lost to the Diamondbacks 4-2. Here was the final call. Seawall to strike away. Here he comes. Cave, a fly ball to right field over his Carroll. He's got it. And the Arizona Diamondbacks are headed to the World Series. The Diamondbacks have won the oh, National League. Uh, yeah. And the fall classic will return to the desert. So I went to bed early, Meg. I, I, in the top of the eighth, it was still 4-2, to two, and I saw how things were going, and my wife being from Philadelphia said, I got like, you know what? I'm going to go to bed. I think I don't need to be here at the end of this when they're falling apart and just... You know, I was obviously all in on the Phillies as well because all the former Cubs and Bryce Harper even being an honorary Cub who should have been there. But you had Castellanos, you had Schwarber, and you have uh, Craig, Kimbrell. Kimbrell, Craig Kimbrell. And they did nothing in the last two games. Terrible. Uh, it really fell apart. I can't believe they lost. Of course, Philadelphia going in one of the worst losses in history. It's going to stay with them for a while. And that's true. Uh, it will. It's rough. But now you've got a Rangers D-backs World Series. The Diamondbacks are, I think, only maybe one of two teams that are just a couple years from losing 100 games and then getting to the World Series. Yeah, it's remarkable what they've done. They they gave a template for the White Sox to follow. We'll now see if the White Sox are able to follow it. Hmm. What do you think of that? I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think so either. It's amazing. Bummer. Um, another... Good for them, though, huh? Uh, <laughs> I don't think the Rangers are going to be that good. For Diamondbacks, Rangers, I don't know how many people are going to watch that it's World Series. It's such a shame. The baseball playoffs have been so good this year. Yeah. And it's, now... been the, it's been phenomenal. Yeah. And now the narrative is going to be, oh, uh, baseball's dying. No, it's They're two good teams. Go watch the games. Mm. World Series begins Friday. Hang out with us at the Cubby Bear. We're watching the game. Um, watch Stranger Things. I got to catch up on that. Oh, my God. <laughs> we catch up on some. You catch what, up on, on Friday? Uh, no, no. Friday we've got our, our, of course, our Halloween. Say, we're all actually pretty busy. <laughs> yeah. Fr- <laughs> Friday the Halloween pop up. That's when the game is. Come out and hang out with us for our yeah, Halloween we're, show. Uh, we're pretty swamped. Yeah, gonna it's be pretty honest. good. Uh, another suburb threw their head in the ring for the Bears Stadium, which seems like it's, I forgot about it. Yeah, I, right. I kind of forgot about they're building a new stadium. We're trying to. Do they will have a new one by the Super Bowl, or what's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> Kenzie thinks they could add, just add one drop of water and it goes <laughs> and it's done and it comes expands and it's done. There's a lot of excuses. Uh, Country Club Hills now wants the potential stadium. I don't even know where that is. Uh, that Where's is Country Club Hills. So that is off of like 55. You head toward Hinsdale. You head toward. No, you, you know, got to give me like things. Like, tell me 55. Well, <laughs> what does that mean? Like what mall is it near? Yeah, oh, or is it near like a venue? Like give me something. I mean, I guess What's it's kind of near the zoo, Brookfield, but it's not. Ah, I mean, it's not. Zoo. It's <laughs> not <laughs> but it's not next to it. It's moving to the zoo. Is I that completely what I understand. I love the zoo. I have a season pass to the Brookfield Zoo. Okay, well they're tearing down the zoo to build the stadium. Oh That's my what they want to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible day. It's poor animals. Oh no! God. I have a season pass for two years. Do you think that stands, even if they build? Um, you get season tickets now because you had a season pass to the yeah, zoo. That would be, well. That would kind of. It'd be nice. God, my if there's a better landmark near Country Club Hills, please let us know at three one two five nine one eighty three hundred. I don't know what they're known for. I'd like to know what. It they're... sounds. It sounds nice as hell. Country Club Hills. <laughs> well, people are saying it's closer to Tinley Park and uh, the. Well, what, what do they call it now? Credit One Union Amphitheater. Bingo. There we go. Uh, so that's where it's closer to that. I guess that's a little far, far from the zoo. I guess I was say, that's uh, kind of not the same area. All the Country Club Hills people are coming after me. It's not near the zoo. Everyone's saying it's Tilly Park and it's not near the zoo. I, I just picture, I know the zoo is that way. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you mean? It's my bad.
You know the zoo's that way? Listen, I live in Wrigley. Just like, what, south? I, I lived in Wrigley. I don't go out that way very often. I'm sorry. I apologize. Just south? Okay, I want to say an apology to the people of Country Club oh, Hills. Oh, great. I have to answer 4,000 texts about uh, it. It's near Tinley, you idiot. People, Brian couldn't be further from the truth on where he's saying Country Club at Hills. Least, at least the zoo bears actually perform. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody text that. All right, my bad. My bad on that one. Oh, so, uh, they're not going to get the stadium anyway. No, so let's just forget about it. <laughs> Sorry, Country Club Hills. <laughs> I apologize. Near oh, Tinley, though. Do uh, they know it? T- t- near him. Near Tinley. Okay, finally. <laughs> finally. Uh, the former president of a McHenry County softball league has been arrested for theft. Her name is Natalie. She's accused of stealing. Did I say her last name? Yes, they were last night. Well, it's, 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 it's in a police blogger that's out there. Uh, Natalie Phelps is accused of stealing $16,000 from the McHenry Pigtail League's account. She was caught after board members noticed some discrepancies with their bank accounts. Uh, she's being charged with a Class 2 felony. I looked up the Pigtail League. It's, it's little girls playing softball. She's well, obviously. What did you think? It was adult women I in thought, the Pigtail League? <laughs> I thought possibly adult it's women. a lingerie softball league. <laughs> hey, now that's something I can get behind. <laughs> I think get out to McHenry not, soon. Not children learning how to play sports. Yeah. That you can't support. I get out near McHenry near the zoo and go check out the <laughs> softball league. Somebody texted in that they used to coach with her and said she's a real piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> they just texted it, I swear to God. Well, she stole $16,000 from a little kid's from softball children. league. It's terrible. Also, what a budget. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Yeah. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. And yes, with traffic, the level that it is, very, very bad out there. And don't do this when you're driving. But hey, if you're just stopped, make sure you go to Q101.com and hit up God Bless the Gravy. It's Brian and Kenzie's Food Drive with the Greater Chicago Food Depository. Proud to say we've got over almost 8,000 meals raised now after about a week. Wow. Almost 8,000 meals. Our goal is 30,000, so a ways to go, but appreciate everything you can do. I always say, if everybody listening just did five bucks, we'd be done with it right now. Five bucks. Don't. It's always overwhelming to think to donate. People say, hey, help well, we out. We wouldn't be done. It's not like we want to stop helping people at 30,000 meals. Like, that's it. No, we're done. 30,000. I'm out. No, we do not want to help more people. <laughs> uh, but go there to Q101.com and God bless the gravy. Um, we've had donations from everywhere from $5 to $500, and it just makes you feel good. It gets off the plate, especially now, way before Thanksgiving and Christmas, when that pressure comes in because you have other things, obligations with your family and presents to buy and things like that. So if you just get it done now, you've done your good deed for 2023. Well, and something to put in perspective is a lot of times when people ask you to donate, you don't really know what it is. Like, hey, will you round up? Will you do this? And you're like, oh. What's that going to do? Yeah. What I love about this is you know that every dollar, one dollar is three meals. So every dollar you're spending, you know, that's three meals right there. So mentally, if you're like, man, I would love to feed 15 people or 20 people. Like, mm-hmm. you know what's, exactly the amount. What's that, Matt? 15, it would be five dollars. Oh, good job. Thank you very much. Woo. Late, late in the show, too. Hello. Brain's still working. It's unbelievable. We've done 66,000 meals over the last couple of years, and so we need another 30,000, get us to over 100,000. And um, to Kenzie's point, $1 makes three meals. But also, remember this. If you live in Schaumburg or Downers Grove or Naperville or Chicago Heights or Gurney, wherever, this covers the whole area. It's not just Chicago. They distribute to 800 food banks around the area. So it's your neighbors. It's people you know. It's family members. So go to Q101.com, God bless the gravy, hit it up. And uh, donate. Help us out. It's one time of the year we ask you for something. Other than that, we give you a bunch of free stuff. So, we do give away a lot of free stuff. <laughs> it's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. And Lauren joins us oh, coming in. Boy. Take you into the rest of this gloomy Wednesday. Uh, what do you got coming up, Lauren? I've got Silver Sun pickups today. Ooh. Tickets for the show at Thick Theater coming at 1230. All right. Thick Theater? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> it's Thick Girl with two Cs. Uh-huh. Oh, Thick Theater. Where is the it's Thick it's Theater? It's, it's, don't ask Brian where anything <laughs> is. Uh, thick Lord. Theater, baby. Is it in Countryside? It's near the Brookfield Zoo, I yeah. think. Yep, yep. Listen, uh, I'm not perfect. I'm not. I don't believe that for mm. a second. 
I didn't think you would have told people that. I thought that was a given. Apparently, it was, nec- it. Apparently it was necessary. Uh, <laughs> let's get to our takeaways. 312-591-8300. You take away something from today's show. Case, what do you got? Yes, 312 checked in. I asked about what the landmarks are in Country Club Hills, and 312 checked in to let us know they have a guitar center and a Sonic. Well, oh, I perfect. love Sonic. <laughs> that I know is exactly good stuff. what that is. <laughs> they used to roller skate. I don't know if they still do, but I was in North Carolina. They roller skate up to the window. Jeez. No one wants to work anymore. Nobody wants to put on the skate. <laughs> Now, Sucks. Now they have drones doing it. Yeah. <laughs> what, did Bezos this, take over Sonic and Lord? This is the exact opposite of the throwback experience I was looking for. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's like a Black Mirror episode now. This oh. sucks. <laughs> Okay, 630 texted it. I feel like I can't even read this one. I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, well, uh, I'll my finger on the dump button if you want. All right. The dodo bird was the reason for his own extinction. He offed himself because the 1600s were so boring. Wow. <laughs> Who says you don't learn any history on this show? That's true. true. Well, well, true. Yeah. A lot of people, You may not actually. like it, but it's history. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> learn to live with it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if this one's any better. Oh, no. uh, this is from Alex Martinez. Um, I was today years old when I found out that the Autobots were a racist organization. <laughs> I thought they were trying to save us. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Ruined my childhood. That was Alex from St. John, Indiana. Brian is a dark Good Lord, what a show. Uh, check it out on the podcast. In case you can get the podcast on the app too, right? You can. So Q101.com. We have a Q101.com or Q- Q101 app. Q101.com. Case. We're always like, where is that? Where is that podcast that yeah. yeah, so you post? Kind of this thing. Q101.com. Q101 app. Spotify. Apple Podcasts. Google Podcasts. Wherever it is that you listen to a podcast, Q101 Morning Crew. The entire show is up there. Maybe you just got in your car now. Yep. Maybe you got in your car at 930. There's a whole other show out there for you. That is what the podcast is for. How about that, Lauren? Give him a raise. I agree. Well, it was like I carried away. <laughs> give, it, give it to him out of your money. No, no. <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.